good evening uh, from the CEBC's uh, 11th uh, edition uh, conference. Uh, very pleased uh, to, miss, uh, to welcome uh, Dr. Saeed Al Hassan, uh, founder and CEO of Manha. What do you have today? We saw a very interesting presentation uh, related to water, yes. which is basically a complex uh, uh, topic or not many talk about. Uh, what can you tell us? So we are at Manhat. We try to develop a technology that will allow us to produce water in a sustainable fashion. Yeah. Uh, the way we would like to approach this problem is to decouple water production from electricity. Mm -hmm. Because if you do it this way, you definitely will solve the CO2 emission that comes with desalination. Yeah. And you can solve the brine problems, which always happen when you desalinate water. Yeah. So that is what we're trying to do at Manhat. And with the water we are producing, we would like to use it for irrigation purposes because 80% of all water uses in the world are used for irrigation to grow crops and to um, uh, and this crop will be used for, for food security. Uh, so, so it is a registered uh, mark basically that you are patented as well? I, yes, we have a family of three patents and we have uh, 30 protections in mm -hmm. 18 countries mm -hmm. for the technology. Mm -hmm. uh, we are registered in Abu Dhabi as a startup mm -hmm. uh, under the name Manhat. Yes, yes. Uh, 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 basically it's a technology, it's a startup. How are we planning to roll out uh, uh, your technology uh, at the grassroots level with the, basically the agriculture world in Abu Dhabi? Yeah, uh, so uh, uh, we've been working on this uh, issue for the past two, three years. Uh, our technology, is, our startup is classified as a deep tech, yeah. uh, which means that we have to do more R&D mm -hmm. uh, to allow us to bring the technology to the market. However, we are confident at this stage that we can bring um, a cheap product to the market. Uh, however, we have to do a pilot project to allow us to assess the technological performance of the product that will produce the water. And from there, we can roll out uh, and hopefully commercialize it and sell the product to the customers. Uh, how, do you, uh, see, uh, how do you foresee the commercial viability of your project? So we are really confident that in the past three months, really, we solved a lot of the issues that we envisioned to have. For example, we are always asking ourselves how we're going to manufacture this in the cheapest way possible. Mm. So we devise a way and the route that we're going to take is basically manufacturing using a known plastic conversion technologies mm. that will allow us to produce millions of units at very low cost. So that's one of the key findings we did or we, we came up with in the last three months and we are more confident that we can do it. Yeah. Uh, partnerships, uh, are you having any partnerships? So we did partner uh, through our development uh, of the technology. We had actually a partnership with Abu Dhabi Ports. They give us access to the uh, Arabian Gulf to put our pro prototypes. We have a partnership with Al Adar uh, real estate company in Abu Dhabi. Mm -hmm. They gave us access to Arim uh, Canal to, to, to put our device. Yeah. And we are actually part of different programs. Uh, we are part of the Shira community program in Sharjah. Mm -hmm. We are also uh, part of the Ma'an uh, incubation program in the seventh uh, cohort, which was concluded this year. Mm -hmm. And we are also part of the Expo Life uh, program for innovation, which will allow us to showcase our technology, hopefully in COP28. Yeah, uh, farming, uh, basically. What about uh, uh, partnerships with farmers? So uh, uh, right now, if I go to farmers and I'm telling them this is what the device do, they will say, okay, how can, you, how can I use it? So that's why we need the pilot before we go to the farmers as our customers. So in the pilot, we will solve all these, hopefully most of the issues that a farmer will anticipate to allow us to actually come to them with the final solution mm. so they can use it without asking more questions and they know what to do. Uh, basically, obviously, you are a professor at you know, Khalifa University yes. in Abu yes. Dhabi, uh, which is basically quite advanced in developing, working on R&D. Yes. But this is the gap, not only in the UAE, not only in the Middle East, but worldwide. Yes. The disconnection between the world of academia and implementation. What's yes. special about the UAE leadership yes. is that the focus on implementation facts on the ground yes. uh, how are you basically developing relaying the world of academia at your university yeah. uh, to implementation on the ground mainly the private sector yes uh, so if you look at the uh, role of a university uh, mm -hmm. the way the or the way the university should uh, translate their knowledge into economical uh, activities is, is multiple ways one of them is to uh, sell the technology to private uh, companies mm -hmm by convincing them that this technology will help their mm -hmm. bottom line. Or uh, one other model is to partner with business uh, people mm -hmm. to create startups, and these startups can actually take this technology, 
and basically grow the startup to become you know uh, intermediate or medium company and then eventually it can become a very large company so these different models are available and you also have other models where uh, the academic side can give consultations to the private sectors and so on and obviously there's uh, sometimes also investments of private sectors into universities mm -hmm. to tackle specific problem that the private sector cannot solve yeah. so these partnerships uh, they vary from different uh, university to university but they are the way an academic institution can actually help yeah. the private sector. Monetizing startups yeah. uh, is very, very important. Yeah. We have seen some mega deals yeah. of billions yes. uh, in the UAE, or the yes. Middle East, uh, very few. Yeah. Uh, as you know, there is a focus from all over the world, including yeah. the UAE, to build the startup system, which yes. is really quite lucrative. So from so many startups to come and live in the UAE, yes. uh, what is your plan in this regard, monetizing uh, your startup? Are we going to see a multi million uh, dollar deal yeah uh, well uh, uh, inshallah <laughs> inshallah regardless of the actual uh, value of the deal that we would like to to attract uh, the focus is actually to uh, showcase that the technology we are developing can solve regular problem and then uh, customers and investment investors will actually uh, help and invest in these startups to take it to the next level um, uh, based on our analysis we know that if we are successful uh, this startup can become uh, multi-million uh, valued uh, startups and maybe more. Uh, but the, the idea is to focus on this type of a startup because it's missing from the ecosystem. We don't have a lot of deep tech startups that based on R&D that makes it to a million uh, dollar status and, uh, and above. So our focus is to become one of the early examples yeah. and we create a blueprint so other uh, fellow entrepreneurs, whether it's from uh, university professors or uh, even uh, students, uh, uh, classical entrepreneurs will believe in the R&D as a way to generate revenues through startups and valuation and increase the value of the startup. Uh, my last question, uh, as you know, the le UAE leadership is very much committed uh, to advancing uh, entrepreneurs and startups, especially the ones uh, from the UAE. Uh, uh, how do you foresee uh, the support from the different public bodies uh, to your startup? Yeah. So if, if you look at uh, what I mentioned early on, our partnership already with Abu Dhabi Ports, Adar, is an in-kind contribution to our journey as yeah. startups. Uh, and uh, this support is already embedded in a lot of organization, uh, government organization in the UAE. Uh, the grants we are receiving from Ma'an and from Shira, and also the grants we are receiving from Expo Life is another way of uh, saying that we believe in the entrepreneurship, we believe in these uh, small uh, and medium enterprises, and we'd like them to grow. Uh, and I think uh, times will tell that more uh, support will come through different means. And uh, because we are in a dynamic economy, I think this will come uh, sooner than later. Dr. Now, we are very proud of you. Best of luck, inshallah. Thank you so much. I appreciate this opportunity. Thank you.